Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Shadik Beckford. For those of you who are watching for the first time, I welcome you all to my channel. Uh, if, you've been, if you're joining again from our previous videos, uh, if you're coming from Facebook, you're coming from Instagram, you're coming from wherever you're coming from, I welcome you to my channel. Uh, I want you to please uh, subscribe to the right side of your screen. You'll see the subscription button. I want you to subscribe, I want you to like, and I want you to comment, and do not forget to share this video with someone. So today, I'm going to discuss with you one of the, one of the most frequent questions I get, and that question is, how do I know I'm called to the prophetic office and so i believe that a lot of persons um they've been told that they're called a lot of persons have signs here and there and you pick up on a few things here and there but the question still remains how do i know or what are some of the signs that will tell me that i am called to the office of the prophetic uh, first i want you to understand that there are different levels to the prophetic you have the gift of prophecy you have the spirit of prophecy and you have scriptural prophecy so there are different levels when it comes to the prophetic i've been called to the prophetic office that's a mantle upon your life that's a ministerial calling that's when you're called to the actual office and our prophets usually have a few things in common and i'll share some of them with you a sign that you're called to the prophetic is uh usually it is confirmed it's a major sign after you've had some years of struggle so persons who have gone through years of struggle periods of struggle i uh, can attest that before they begin to operate in the prophetic they have had years of trauma years of struggling years of of hardship and not everyone that's in the prophetic will actually go through these things because there are some persons uh, that they, they grew up around prophets and so they had good mentorship but for those of you that you don't have nobody to teach you you don't have nobody to tell you this is what you go through this is what will happen these are the ins and the outs and the pitfalls there's some of us who are just left alone who are left in obscurity and we don't know nothing and so aside for many of you um you've struggled a lot in your past this is a sign that god may be calling you into the prophetic office another sign another sign your course so the first one is uh years of struggle another sign is as a prophet of god being called into the office you're able to discern spiritual climate and so you're able to go into a church uh into a home into any atmosphere uh generally and once you step into that atmosphere you can discern if the spirit of god is here or you can discern what's happening in the climate if it's cold or if it's hot if it's lukewarm you just go into a church and you just know that nah I can't worship in this church. This church, there's something that's missing. There's something that is in lack. The spirit of God is not in this place. And so you're easy to pick up on spiritual climate. And many persons will say, ah, you fuss too much and uh, you always know this. Another sign is people will say that you are odd because you don't operate the way that everybody else operates. You don't see the way they see. While they will think outside Side of the box you will think inside the box while they will think inside the box you are thinking outside the box while everybody else is celebrating and laughing you will see the need to be mourning in a season and while you are laughing everyone else is mourning because you see through the lens of God you see through the eyes of the spirit and so you cannot see what the natural sees but you see according to the divine will of God and so people will say that you are odd why do you try to escape a social gathering because you want to go pray? Why do you not always come out and have, uh, have fun with us because you want to shut in and hear the word of God? Prophets often want to be alone. There are times when you just want to be alone 
that's another sign that you're called to the prophetic prophets love being alone they love shutting into a place of isolation i want you to also understand that for all these characteristics for all these traits there can also be a misuse uh, being alone sometimes does not necessarily mean or loving to be alone does not necessarily mean that you're called to the prophetic it may mean that you have some psycho uh, some mental psychological logical thing that you're going through or you're suffering from depression or you're being schizophrenic I don't know I'm just saying I'm not saying it's you but I'm just saying I've been alone it's not a major major sign that you're caught to the prophetic but our uh, prophets often love to be alone uh, periodically that way they can shut in they can listen to God and they can seek him because prophets love to hear the voice of God that brings me to my other uh, characteristics Prophets love to hear the voice of God. Whenever we do not hear God, it makes us become disturbed. You begin to wonder, what did I do wrong? Did I sin? Did I mess up? Did I do something? Why am I not hearing God? And so we will pray harder. We will shut in even more because we want to hear the voice of God. So if you are a prophet, you may understand what I'm saying. Uh, when I just came into the prophetic, I remember God gave me a glimpse of certain things I saw in the realms of the spirit and after I saw in the spiritual realm uh, for a period I saw nothing I I couldn't hear God I wasn't seeing anything and I was stuck going through trouble I was stuck being homeless I was stuck feeling a uh, very disturbed trouble I was struggling I was going through a lot and while that was happening and I needed to hear the voice of God in that time Yo, God was nowhere to be found. There's some of you that's watching this video and you're saying, I'm not hearing God. I'm going through a lot and I would love to hear God speak to me right now and right here. I want you to understand that God is with you. Even in the silence, you have to understand that God is always with you and he will never leave nor forsake you. So uh, being alone, uh, struggling to hear the voice of God uh, while you're going through your seasons of struggle, it's a sign that uh, you're called to the prophetic. Another sign that you're called to the prophetic is um, a true prophet of God. Uh, from childhood, they're, they're deemed as different. Even as a child, you will come across as being different. You never fit in. You're always the odd one. You never fit into certain circles because there was something that stood out about you. There was something that made you different from everybody else. Uh, to, the, to, the, to the natural and the naked eye, people may say that you're weird, you're unusual, something is wrong with you. But in the realms of the spirit, you are an anointed vessel. You are chosen you're peculiar you're different from everybody else because you carry something that is so powerful you carry something that is so uncommon there's nothing wrong with being uncommon there's nothing wrong with being unusual because you carry an unusual anointing and because you carry an unusual anointing what people do not understand it will offend them and they will attack it some persons say why is it that prophets are attacked so much a uh, wire prophet attacked uh, on, on such a high frequency because what you carry people cannot understand it there's some that will be confused there's some that will be intimidated there's some that will be jealous there's some that will just no, not like you for no reason and so you have to understand that the warfare to the prophetic it is great it's a great fight uh, it's a great fight and people will fight against you for no just cause because you're carrying some Something that is unusual you're carrying something that is different so I, I'm, I'm not even counting I'm not sure what number that is but uh, another sign that you're called to the prophetic is you hate sin prophets they, they, they despise sin 
Wherever sin is, they will try to correct it. They will try to rebuke, rebuke and reprove. And so our prophets do not tolerate sin. They cannot sit amongst our sin. And so uh, they will always call the sinner. They will always say, repent, repent, repent. God is telling you to repent. At the same time, I said that there are certain, uh, you can misuse these characteristics. And uh, we have to be very careful how we call out certain things. There are some things you have to know how you deal with it by using wisdom because the prophetic is not to bring shame the prophetic is not to disgrace and the prophetic is not to kill or destroy someone it's actually to build them up uh, the, the, the bible declares that the prophetic the prophetic is to comfort to edify and to exhort and so that's what the prophetic does it comforts it edifies and it exhorts if you're not doing that as a prophet then something is definitely wrong but that's a sign of the prophetic to comfort to edify and to um to exhort another sign that you call to the prophetic is you love intercession and you love worship prophets love intercession you may see me looking down from time to time i just have a few things that i jotted down on my phone our prophets love intercession they love music our prophets they love worship they love worship and so they will even if they can't sing like myself i'll tell you what i've i've went to preach many places and i tried to sing and the pastors who invited me they said prophetess stick to your calling do not sing prophesy you're good at preaching you're good at prophesying prophesy don't preach i've never felt so humiliated in my life but even though i cannot sing there's something within there's something within me there's something within the core of the prophet that just loves to worship and voluntarily ah uh, just randomly they will just begin to worship god and they'll begin to sing prophetic songs out of their spirit so if you are a natural worshiper if you are a genuine worshiper you desire worship and you desire to look into intercession you're always praying about something you always carry the burden for something that god places on your life it is a sign that you're caught to the prophetic another sign you're caught to the prophetic is you have quick impressions of people y'all when i tell you that i have a discernment clock inside of me i'm not even joking prophets are quick to discern people they are quick to have uh impressions of people what do i mean you can see someone and as soon as you see them you know nah that's not a child of god the way i see it in the realms of the spirit i see like a phone you know when you're charging your phone and you have the little bar thing at the side and you see the battery going up and going down because it's charging in the realms of the spirit that's how i see where people are spiritually i don't know it's just something god gave to me but that's how i see so i can look at when i see people i see like a battery life like a percentage and i know if they're hot if they're cold i know if they're heavy or i just know where they are in the realms of the spirit and so when i see someone i can easily discern if they are a child of god or if they're not a child of god if they are uh if they're growing going on or mature in the realms of the spirit or if they're just called and they're still at that big level because God gives you a sharp sense of discernment and so you can't be tricked you can't be fooled while everybody else is hyping over over prophet a you know that prophet a is a con artist and he's a Jezebel and while nobody is looking at prophet B you know that this one is carrying the anointing and the glory of God because you're able to look beyond the natural the misuse of quick impressions of people is you have to be careful that you're discerning through the lens and the spirit of god because now you don't want it to be being judgmental criticism uh you don't want it to be uh you just criti criticizing random persons for no reason or just casting wrong judgment on someone or be quick to cast judgments so you have to ensure that when you discern uh discerning is through the spirit and the lens of god you have an alertness to dishonesty as prophets you have an alertness to dishonesty and so um as a prophet 
of God, when you're caught to the prophetic, you are alert when people are lying. You're alert when there's no loyalty. If there's no loyalty, if there's no honesty, if there's no uh, authenticness, you are alert and you can pick up on it and you know that this person is not being honest and so nobody can trick you. One of the greatest things as a prophet that I love is hearing and seeing in the realms of the spirit. Now here comes this person, right? Here comes this person coming up to my face and telling me, telling me something and I know that the person is lying. And I'm just sitting and I'm just like, mm -hmm. wow, okay, continue, go on. And the person is talking and I'm, wow, that is so good, impressive. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at the person and you know that you know that you know without a shadow of a doubt that that person is lying. The person is lying and you're looking at the person telling the lie. And you're allowing them to dig deeper into that, that, that hole that they're digging. And you're just looking and saying, mm -hmm. and you're wondering, how far are you going with this? How far? I want to see how far you will take the line. Let me just stand or let me just sit and look at this person like to me. I know within that this person is dishonest. I know within that this person is disloyal. But let me just look at this hypocrite. Let me just look at this person that is lying in front of my eyes. And then when they're finished, there are times where God will allow you to say that you knew that they lied. And there are times, the real test of a true mature prophet is when you're able to see something, when you hear something, but you simply do not say anything until God allows you to say. Sometimes God will show things to you that you're not entitled or privy to share with everyone. And so the true maturity is you know that this person is a liar, but you still have to work beside them. You still have to treat them humanly. You still have to treat them with respect and love because even though you know something, it does not change your relationship with the person yeah being a prophet is hard being a prophet it's easy but it's hard you have to if you are not a mature prophet i'm telling you you will break and so the reason why you will go through these things is so god will break your flesh is so god will break self that way you can become mature and a developed prophet of god another sign of um that you're caught to the prophetic is you will endure seasons of rejection People will reject you. The Bible declares that a prophet is not honored in his own country. It means that your family may not accept you as a prophet. Your own church that you grew up in, you got baptized in, you were filled with the Holy Ghost, you sung on the choir. Everyone may not accept you as a prophet, especially in your own country. There are times where our strangers will accept you and honor you even the more as a prophet of God. So do not be alarmed that rejection will come. Rejection is a part of the process. If you cannot deal with people rejecting you in your period of being processed, when you are matured into the office of the prophetic, uh, when you give a word, when you release a word from heaven, Heaven. If people do not uh, listen to you and if people do not uh, give ear to what you're saying, you will be forced to say something that they want to hear. But when you have been rejected in your preparation, when you have been rejected in your training, when you begin to release the divine word of God, whether people want to hear it or not, you will release the word. And so you will be grateful later that you have been through rejection. Rejection, uh, do not be... Do not feel hurt because of rejection. Do not feel like because you're abandoned and no one is with you. It's just a part of the process. It will not be forever. It's just a part of the training process. And so prophets, they are alert to dishonesty. They desire for justice. Prophets, they desire for justice. They tend to cut off those who sin so that justice will be done. Listen, prophets, it, 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 they, they have, what do I, how do I put this? When you're a true prophet of God, your tolerance level for sin and injustice is like this small. It's like this, this small. There's no space there. Um, it's either, it's either or either. 
as a prophet of God, you will understand. It's either you're saved or you're not. It's either you're living for God or you're not. It's either heaven or hell. It's either black or white, but there's no silver, there's no gray in between. You can't say that you're saved, but nah, that doesn't work. When you're in the prophetic, that simply just, just does not work. You're either living for God or you're not living for God. You're either fulfilling his will wholeheartedly or you're not doing it any at all. And so that's that's where prophets stand. They, If you're serving God, they want you to serve God wholeheartedly, completely surrender to God. And we have a no-no tolerance for sin and for dishonesty for injustice so that's another sign that you're actually called uh, to the prophetic of god our prophets they're they're wholehearted they're involved wholeheartedly anything that prophets do they will go in it all out if they're called to preach a word if they're called to be an advocate whatever they're called to do they will go all out for the will of god if you're dedicated to the cause then you know that you're called as a prophet of god another sign you're called to the prophetic is you carry a burden Every prophet carries a burden. If you're a prophet of God and you do not carry a burden for something, then something is wrong somewhere along the line. Whether you're carrying a burden for the church, a burden for families, a burden for women, a burden for prostitutes, a, a burden for the prophetic, um, the prophetic um, niche, whatever the burden is that you're carrying, every prophet carries a burden. What do I mean? There's something that sits on your soul spirit it sits on you and it's a heavy thing that it doesn't get up off of you you're disturbed by it every time you see an injustice or something happening it upsets your spirit because it is a burden inside of you and the only time that you get a release is when you go to the altars when you go into your altar your prayer closet and you pray about it the more you pray about it the divine will of god and then god will give you an ease from this thing there are people that carry burdens there are people that carry burdens for churches for years there's some that carry burden for um for 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 many different things and they carry this burden for years let's look at ezekiel god told this man uh, to walk naked to get naked and walk naked to prove a sign how far how involved are you what are you willing to do for god there's some of us who are not afraid to be ashamed we're not afraid to be persecuted this is a sign that you're called to the prophetic you're not afraid to be persecuted you're not afraid to be laughed at you know that you're doing the will of god and you do not care what nobody else thinks another sign that you are called to the prophetic and i just said that uh you're willing to suffer for right you're willing to suffer for right as a prophet of god another sign that you're called to the prophetic is you're so filled with god's word that they cannot keep quiet even if they try hard to because you're so filled with the anointing, the word of God, the Holy Spirit, it's hard for you to sit quiet and not speak up about injustice, to speak up about what God is saying. Another sign you're caught to the prophetic is you understand the seasons. And because you understand the seasons, there's some people that will call you uh, over holy. They will say that you're too holy, you're too anointed. Why do you always speak in tongues? Why do you always have a word? How is it that you're always hearing from God, bro? Because I'm spending time in prayer. And so people will say that you you think that you're God's secretary. If anyone is watching and you someone has said to you that um you you you're probably your God's secretary, they say that you're too holy, or they say that you're you're too um you're too charismatic or you act too much you pretend too much and why do you have to always be shouting and doing so much it's a sign that you're caught to the prophetic you can't help but worship god you can't help but love god you can't help but speak about his goodness his mercy his grace it's embedded in your spirit it's embedded in your dna you can't help it and so because of this people will say that you're too much people will call you over spiritual if you've ever been called over spiritual i want you to comment down below the amount of times people have called me over spiritual it's not even funny and so uh do not be disturbed do not feel discouraged because people say these things to you truth be told 
Some of the same people that reject you in the past, these are the same people that will need you in the future. Uh, there are plenty more signs uh, that you're called to the prophetic. I will do another video on it, but this is part one. If you were blessed or if you can relate to some of the things that I've said in this video, I want you to go below and I want you to comment what is it that you're experiencing as a prophet? What are some of the signs that allowed you to know that you're called to the prophetic? Was it the struggling? Was it the humiliation? Was it the rejection was it the, the was it the years of being isolated was it feeling was it feeling odd around people when you know that you need to pray i don't know what your sign was uh, maybe someone confirmed it to you maybe you got a dream uh, i don't know what your sign is that you're called to the prophetic i want you to comment down below share your story with me tell me how do you know how did you find out how did you recognize that you were called to the prophetic uh, god bless you guys and have a wonderful rest of day do not forget to share this video to someone subscribe and like